back to our channel. Uh, I'm I'm making this video to share to you that uh, that we're going to um, Landers today. We're going to buy his diet food because he's starting his diet again. The diet na naman po siya and uh, he needs alternative for the rice. We're going to buy some pickles, pickles. and stevia and more stevia. Yeah. Uh, we ordered na his diet food actually, but maybe because of a uh, small portion only. Just kidding. Uh, he needs some. Um, I need some extremely low, yeah. extremely low calories, extremely low carb. Mm -hmm. but Foods for in between pickles, uh, classic pickles, have zero calories and zero carbs. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that I pick. So those are gonna be my snacks for in between when I'm getting hungry and I need, just need something in my stomach to help me uh, get past the hunger until my next meal. Uh, the last time I did this, um, I've gained a lot of weight over the last few months. And uh, the last time I did this, I had lost, what was it, 27 kilos, 28 yeah. kilos. Uh, I was much bigger. He was 107. Yeah, 107 and I got down to 81. Yeah. And now... 104.7 or 107.4. Yeah. And now, <clears throat> after the quarantine that we had, because... Uh, I want to share guys that my dad passed away because of um, kidney failure complicated kidney, yeah. by COVID. So we need to quarantine for 14 days. Ayun, yung diet niya medyo nasira. Eat, kain ng kain. Kailangan malakas ang pangatawan. Yeah, we need a healthy body and so we need to eat and eat when we are quarantined. Nasira ang diet. Uh, he goes back to his uh, his the old diet uh, of just eating whatever I wanted uh, instead of paying attention to what I was eating because I didn't want to get sicker if I got sick. We didn't get sick. We were exposed to COVID but we were quarantined because of that. So I, I ate like I did before I started my diet and I gained a lot of weight <coughs> in that time. And then things just kept going. So we went up to the province, uh, so we were quarantined for two weeks, we um, waited two weeks before we could go up to the province, and we went up to the province where his uh, funeral ceremony was, and then we uh, got back, and it's been, what, two weeks since then already now? Uh, so about six weeks I've been off diet, yeah. and uh, six or eight weeks, I don't know. And uh, in that time, I've just gained weight, so I need to get back on my diet. Get back on track. He needs to get back on track. <clears throat> get back to the uh, yeah. the uh, the goal again is to get down to 78 to 74 or 72 kilos. Yeah. Uh, not kilos. Uh, 78 kilos. 178. 168 pounds, that's what I was 168 pounds. I wanted to get down to 168 pounds. The market. Here. In the United States, this wouldn't be allowed. All these people on an on-ramp to a major highway. It's not really an expressway, but a highway. There wouldn't be all these shops lining here, but here in the Philippines, this is extremely common. Where now on Edsa? Yeah, this is the main uh, street that goes all the way around the uh, Metro Manila uh, metropolitan area. Yeah. And uh, this is not a busy hour, time. even though it's rush hour time. It's not a busy time. Me. At this moment, it's not yet busy. On the other side, uh, there. So there's Landers right there, and we're gonna have to go past it. Yeah, we're gonna. And come back to it. We're gonna U-turn. Uh, in our place, 
uh, it's very easy to access a uh, mall, market, and a big grocery store like Landers and SNR. Near, very near to everything here. So it's very easy to live. A few moments later. There are advantages to living here. Um, convenience of everything being in one place because it's a big city. But also, um, I'm not a city person. I, I like being close to a city where I can have that convenience, but I don't like living in the city uh, proper. So we have made the decision to move to the province uh, fairly soon. Yes. And I think we mentioned that in our last video. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, as a couple and as a family so that we can have a little more freedom a little more um, just a little more relaxed life uh, we've been up to the province once driving around there there's not a lot of heavy traffic so that's kind of a nice thing about it so living in the Philippines is great it's a tropical country but when you're in the city it's not tropical it's city. Uh, it's nice. You're very near to everything. Mm -hmm. But it's very... Crowded. Crowded. Traffic. Yeah. Always traffic. Always traffic. The you, one you'll that have, he hates the most. You will have traffic for two and a half hours at lunchtime, uh, three to four hours in the morning, and three to four hours in the evening. So um, just traffic all the time. It wasn't bad this time, uh, and some of that's because we're in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, when there is no pandemic, traffic is horrible. You, you yeah, have a hard know, time. Uh, you will have a hard time. Um, yeah, you'll have a hard time getting from place to place. Uh, a, a trip of 40 kilometers through the city takes two hours. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons why I just want to live in the province. And if we can find, or not can find, but if we can live in a, a, a town right outside one of the tourist towns, we'll have all the, um, the same benefits of living near Manila, but the smaller town life that we're looking for. Why? So ayun guys, sabi ko ang bibili lang namin, chicken. Pero minsan talaga, pag may mga nakikita eh, may extra money naman. 
Parang hindi na kami siguro babalik. That's his favorite diet food. Not necessarily favorite. Not favorite, but there's no. Yeah. So we pick some groceries. We'll get a bunch of these. Twenty-one thousand eight hundred eighty-three for the total cost of our grocery shopping. Yeah. Hopefully for the whole month. Not to. I don't want to go back to the shopping mall again. Ayun, so tapos na tayo mamili guys. Yung pickles na bibili namin, ang nangyari, naging grocery shopping na siya. So, it always happened to us. Yung sasabihin namin na may bibili lang kami, ganto lang, end up doing a big shopping. Pero okay lang naman kasi, pagkain naman at magagamit naman namin to sa araw-araw namin para din naman kami bibili ng food pabalik-balik sa grocery store so here's my oh. here's my bagger cargador and driver let's go home na guys all right rich girl okay i see how it is yes what i'm the rich girl because i call you the bagger bagador and driver <laughs> 
Bagger, bagger, and driver, and I didn't call you my husband. That's right. <laughs> Treat me like a servant instead of a husband. Hey. I give you all the money and you still treat me bad. I can't believe I it. <laughs> so sad. So sad. <gasps> I'm not bad. Oh, you don't think so? Yeah. That's good that you think so. It's given that you're my husband, but you have others. I know. You're going to apply. So I have other talents like yeah. I bag. <laughs> he has a lot of talent. A bagger and a cargador and a... Uh, Driver, sweet lover. Oh my gosh. Driver, sweet lover. <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Mm. Hi guys! So, nakarating na kami sa bahay. And, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano mga pinamili namin sa Landers. Hi, we're going to show you what we bought. Hi guys, this is the end of our vlog. Uh, our next one will be about my weight loss program and how I'll be going about it and how I did it the first time before I had to. That's it for today guys. So have a good day and bye.